Hey guys, thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Adam, and right now I'm actually sitting on the top of my tiny house, enjoying this beautiful view. And uh, I was just sort of thinking back, contemplating on why I built the tiny house, you know, two years ago, back when I had zero dollars in the bank account, and um, you know, the tiny house was just a dream at that point. I really had no guidance and, you know, no idea what to do, but I knew that it was the right decision. So uh, I'm going to just, you know, quickly list for you guys the reasons why I think tiny houses are a good decision. Uh, number one, and probably this is the most important one, is that they're just a vehicle for creating freedom, time freedom. And what I mean by that is uh, a very important a lesson or formula that you guys should probably learn or take from this is if you want to retire young then you need to have passive income which is greater than the amount of money that it costs to sustain your lifestyle and the beautiful thing about a tiny house is that you can have a really great lifestyle for extremely low amount of money so if you can find passive income streams then you can really retire at a very young age uh, and you know beyond that or if you don't want to try to find passive income streams you can reduce the amount of time that you work at your job so you know both of those are wonderful outcomes uh, the second thing is that if you do have a tiny house you can rent it out you know you have a rental unit in the future so that's a second huge reason to, to build a tiny house or to, to get a tiny house uh, which brings me to the third reason why would you build a tiny house yourself well the reason why I did is because in the future I want to own a piece of property a large piece of property or multiple properties and I'm going to build more tiny houses in the future and I'm gonna put them on the land and uh, rent them out in the future you know so kind of like a tiny house village Airbnb kind of ecosystem uh, that's the plan anyway uh, if there's anybody else or anyone out there that wants to sort of contact me and, and work with me on that go ahead and leave a comment down below I would love to get in contact with you um, Another reason why I decided to go with tiny houses is because they're mobile, of course, that's a huge reason. Uh, young people do not want to be location dependent, we want to be able to move around. Uh, pretty much anybody wants to be able to travel and vacation, right? So, you know, why wouldn't you want a, a tiny house on wheels? And you can make them to travel, you know, they're really not meant to, to vacation in. You can make a smaller structure if that's what you want, but they're really meant to, to be lived in and parked somewhere and lived in. So. Uh, you can move them if you want to. If if you get a new job somewhere, you can relocate, you know. Or if you want to up and go to Brazil, you can literally take up and move. You know, you're like a, a snail or a turtle in that regard. You can you take your home with you. Um, one big reason for me personally, and this might not matter to you guys, but uh, if, if you don't know how money is created, it, there's two ways. The first way is that the Federal Reserve lends money to the American government. And when that happens, the American government is charged interest. And they, the way they pay that interest is by charging you a federal income tax. So instead of just, you know, the Treasury printing debt-free money, the Federal Reserve, which is not owned by the government, it's a private bank, invents money, lends it to the American government, and literally enslaves the American people. 25% of your year you work for the Federal Reserve uh, just for an ever-increasing uh, interest that will never go down so that's just ridiculous um, and then the second and main way that money comes into creation is that banks uh, have something called fractional reserve lending and what this means is that banks can lend you money without having anything on deposit in fact that's what every single bank in the world does if, if you want to go to a bank for a car a house you want to go to college banks don't have anything in their accounts all they do is they create new money out of thin air types some numbers into a screen and say oh, okay mr. Joe blow you want to you want a new house here's a quarter million dollars have fun paying us back plus interest for the rest of your life and that does not sound like a smart plan for financial success to me so that's one of the biggest reasons for me personally why I decided to go with a tiny house you know a lot of people decide to go with tiny houses because they're eco-friendly um, that's absolutely wonderful I built my house to be off-grid uh, I'm all for the environment uh, I, I love being outside and being in nature but the reason why I built my house to be off-grid is because I don't want any bills for the rest of my life 
if I can collect my own rainwater, if I can collect energy from the sun and not have an electricity bill or a water bill, then why wouldn't I do that? Uh, that's just common sense. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you did, please leave the comments down below. And uh, you know, real quickly, I just wanted to mention when I started my process, I was kind of flabbergasted. I was you know, looking for all kinds of YouTube videos on tiny houses and uh, it was just kind of daunting at that time. So what I've done for you guys, anyone out there who is thinking about building a tiny house, wondering what the process is and what it entails, uh, I've written an ebook. Uh, it's called How to Build a Tiny House on Wheels, Even If You're Broke 25 Year Old. And uh, it's a step-by-step -step how to guide on how to build a tiny house. It's an easy read, uh, quick read, uh, conversational, very, very, very fun read, I think. And it will make it easy for you guys to build a tiny house if that's what you want to do. Or if you want to know what it takes to build a tiny house, you guys can, can learn that from, from the book. So I cover everything from buying a trailer, finding a trailer, fixing it up so it's roadworthy, uh, you know, doing your subfloor, doing the framing from there, doing your siding, cladding, electrical, plumbing, insulation, then you do your walls, then you do your real floor, then you do your finishing touch, and then you do your roofing. You do your roofing at the beginning. <laughs> but you get the idea. There's so much stuff that goes into it. I go about I talk about making it off grid. Uh, it's anything you, you can think about, I cover in this book. So if you guys want to check it out, um, you go to Kindle Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description box. And uh, yeah, go check it out. I think it'll save you guys lots of time and money. Um, and you can not make some of the mistakes that I made. And that will make your process and your journey a lot smoother and faster than mine was. Not that mine was bad. I, I thoroughly enjoyed mine. But if you guys can do it faster, quicker, and easier, then why not, right? So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it informational uh, or if you liked it and want some more like this, then please like, subscribe, and enjoy.